Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually going to do the palette tag, which if you are not know what that is, it's basically just a series of questions about palettes and you answer them and show the palette and it's a fun little thing. I just wanted to do something easy. Um, yes, my face is already done today. Uh, if you, I did film this look. If it is already out, edited and out, I will link it in the cards. If it's not, it is on its way. But yeah, I just wanted to do the eyeshadow palette tag, which was just like something easy and fun, just so I could like do something. If you wanted to know what I am drinking, I am drinking a, um, it was frozen, it's not anymore, blueberry, I think it's, um, blueberry pomegranate frozen lemonade from Wawa. Uh, if you don't know what a Wawa is, it's an East Coast thing, specifically like Pennsylvania and a little bit of New Jersey. It's a convenience store, but it's fantastic. I love it. I live in Philadelphia, which is why I'm drinking it. But yeah, anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright, so I have a series of 13 questions here going through, like asking different things about palettes. So the first question is, show us your newest palette. Now that one was hard for me just because, um, newest is hard because is it, does it mean my most recent purchase or does it mean the thing that I got the latest? Because with COVID and like certain things, things shipped at random times, it was a whole thing. I'm taking it as a recent purchase. The, mo the most recent palette I actually put my, like the money came out of my account from and that is the it is shroud now shroud cosmetics creepy cute palette I have a video coming on this look um, and if you want to see I do have it on Instagram as well it's just a very beautiful pastel palette um, I'm not normally a huge pastel person but like I've heard people rave about this this palette for so long that I finally bit the bullet to get it and I've tried it once and I love it these, these colors are beautiful it's perfect for summer which it is currently um in we're in july so it, it is summer for us um and i love it very very much so the next question is show us your oldest palette now technically my oldest palette is my bobby brown little like six pan thing however i actually don't use that on my eyes because it is so old i've had it i think since i was like 14 like and i'm 23 now it's been years I don't use it on my eyes because of that, but I use it to fill in my eyebrows because it's got a dark brown shadow. So I'm te that's technically my oldest, but I'm not counting that because I don't actually use it on my eyes. The oldest that I have on my eyes, they're from the same person. Um, this is a palette and a single, but I, I wanted to include the single because I, I used to love this color so much. It's So the company's called Color Design. And this little single is in just metallic. It doesn't even say what the color is. Um, maybe it's couleur de jour. I don't know. It's, it's very, very old, but it's so pretty. It's this like fun thing. I take it on the go with me. It's just like a uh, very pretty purple metallic. It's very nice. But I pair that with this, which is the same company, the little palette, and it is Go Bold. It's a sensational effects eyeshadow smooth hold. So this is what this little eh, boy looks like. Similar color scheme. I really like purple. Uh, I was when I first started getting into makeup, I did mostly purple looks because I have green eyes, and so green and purple really mix well together. But anyway, this is what I use. I use this a lot as well if I'm on the go and I just want to throw a shimmer. It has three shimmers in here. Um, but yeah, so this is technically my oldest palette. I legitimately don't know how, how old these are. I still use them. So. Yeah. So the next question is show us your most expensive palette. Um, I'm going to show you what it is. Disclaimer, I don't support this brand anymore. Um, but it is the this palette. I'm not going to say the name just because I don't want to promote it. I will show you the colors because I want to explain why I was attracted to it at the time. Um, so this is what the color scheme looks like. Um, this was very expensive. This was 50 something dollars. Um, I'm actually gonna take it out of frame. I really wanted reds. I was really getting into makeup and I was like, I really wanna purchase something. And 
I've heard really good things about this brand and let me try I want to do reds and like I love red so that's why I have this I do still use it I don't promote it anymore though because again of everything that's come out just you know, I was ignorant before I have a whole other I explain it in other videos but the point is I do still use it and I'm showing it in this tag because it is technically my most expensive um, palette Okay, so the most affordable, I went back and forth on this because I technically have other ones that are more affordable than this one, but I'm using it for another question, so I'm not going to show them, but it is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte's uh, eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It is, I think, I believe like $6, maybe $9. It's very, very uh, cheap. I, it is my, really my only, my only like cool toned palette that I really own and I I like have had it for a while but sort of stopped using it and now I've like started using it again and I love it. So yeah, oh, great company. <laughs> Alright, so for the every, this is the next question is show me your everyday palette. I have two for this because I use them both every day. So the first one is the Tartlet and Bloom palette. This is what it looks like. It is neutral but has a little bit of a mauve down here, a little cool tone, a little neutral up here. Very good for that. Then I also have the ColourPop's Going Coconut palette looks like this. Both of these I use every single day. At my hostess job, I cannot wear colorful eyeshadow. I must wear neutrals, which is annoying and I'm going to fight, but anyway. Um, so those are perfect for that. I love them both. One's more affordable, one's more expensive. They're both great. Most colorful palette was a struggle for me because I do have the Morphe and J James Charles palette, which is technically my most colorful, but I kind of don't consider it that. So I have two options for most colorful that aren't the James Charles one. The first is Feral Palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. This to me is colorful. Like, you only have two browns and the rest are colors. So that's what I mean by colorful. I love the formula of this. It's heavy, it's lovely. I wanna get more things from Feral. They're an indie cosmetics brand and they're great. The other most colorful palette I have, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes today, is the ColourPop Show Jaded palette. Again, I wanted to pick this because it is colorful, but it's not a conventional rainbow. So that's why I have this for that. Yeah. And like, I, I love pretty much all these eyeshadows. I just want to put that out there. So here are my smallest palettes. Uh, there are two, but it's the same thing, essentially. And the reason I didn't put these in the most affordable, because they are the most affordable, is because they're so small. And I wanted them for the smallest. These are my little e.l.f. bite uh, what is it? Bite size eyeshadows. This one is in rose water and this one is in cream and sugar. These are ton There are only four. They are three dollars, which is fantastic. And they perform very, very well. So these are my smallest palettes. I like them. They're great for throwing in my purse uh, if I ever went anywhere, which I don't because Corona. But if I did, I would bring those. <laughs> Biggest palette I did by size, not shades. The show jaded. And the one I'm about to show you is the same amount of shades, but the So Jaded palette is smaller, so I'll show it to you. It, my biggest palette is the, uh, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill original palette. This is what it looks like. It is massive. It is about the same amount of shades as the So Jaded, but look at the size comparison. This is my physically my biggest boy. And I do like it a lot, so that's my biggest. So the next is show the palette with the best memory, and that is my Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. I, this palette was one of my very first high-end palettes, and the reason why I'm including this one and not my the first one I purchased is because this was a gift from my sister. My sister and I are very, very close, um, and she, when I started to get into makeup, she bought this for me one Christmas and I love it so 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 much and it's such good quality and I want to buy more things from Luna Beauty but that's I just I love this palette so much I think of my sister every time and I miss her yeah she is she lives in Wales and I live all the way in Philly so it's you know reminds me of her and I love it show a palette worth the hype so for me I in watching YouTube this is not hyped up in the sense of like hype of like everyone was talking about it but I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of YouTubers mention this palette and it is, I got it, and it is so worth it. So this is the Alter Ego Goddess palette. This is 100% worth the hype. Like, it's a cool, grungy color scheme. I don't really use a lot. I've not encountered a lot, I should say, or use a lot. It is a dupe for the, one of the Natasha Denona palettes. This is so much more affordable, and I love it. Absolutely worth the hype. 
and not very expensive. That's a perk. The next is not worth the hype, uh, which everyone agrees. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection. This is in Bling Boss. Now, I got this after the whole controversy happened. So this is the new formula. It works very well. Like, I, I do enjoy it. I just don't find myself really reaching for it. And to be honest, like, it's I, there's not a lot you can do. There's only really one, like, transition-y transition shade. And, like... It's nice and I like it and I do like certain shades in here, but it just wasn't worth, I think, the hype as well. But even the bad hype, like hype is hype, but I'm, at this point I'm rambling, so let's move on. Alright, so it is show a favorite palette from my favorite brand. Now, originally, I was going to show you this one, which was the Blue Moon uh, palette by ColourPop. I, I adore ColourPop. Obviously, I have a lot of their stuff. So it was originally this one. I love this color scheme. I love blues. They're hard to do, but I just, I love bright, bold colors. Um, and this is originally my, this is my, this was my favorite palette from this brand. However, in the mail, I finally got this one, which is the ColourPop Making Mauves palette. And oh my gosh, I love this palette. I actually use this also as an everyday palette. I just love mobs like cool tone mobs on me it just they make me so happy and i always think i look so good and i just oh, i love it so much and i love color pops formula and they're super super affordable and it's just super super great so yeah and last but not least show my use most used now i you use these all a lot I don't like to go to the same palette every single day except for my every everyday ones because of work. But outside of work when I'm just doing fun looks, I don't like using the same palette over and over. That being said, this is my use, most used palette that I can think of. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This was like my only my second or third time buying a high-end palette. That's kind of what it looks like. And it it Um, I used this when I first got it a ton. Like, I use this almost every day. I do really, really like this palette. I like the formula. I don't use it so much anymore. I really need to go back and use it more. But I do really love it. And when I first got it back in, like, last Christmas, I did use this a lot. I brought this to, like, Belgium with me and used it for Christmas looks. Like, I do love, I use this a lot. So, this is... Technically, it's not technically my use most used, but it's the one I picked. So yeah, and that is it. it. I just wanted a super, super easy video and talk about makeup because I've been really stressed. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy talking about some of my collection. If you, I mean, I you know, if you wanted, I could do a video on my whole palette collection. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, let me know. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. It is mostly tutorials, but I I really like talking. So if this is something that people like, I'll, I can do more of these. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!